Social, Social Security can be hard to understand, especially when you've been hurt, and here to help us understand how they can help you get the benefits you deserve is Eric Sleppin and Brian Exelson. Alexson, I knew I was going to do that, <laughs> Brian. I knew every time you come in. How are you two doing? <laughs> doing good, great. good. So, how good. are you? Uh, let's talk about this because um, I got pretty much a great information here I didn't understand because I think of Social Security, of course, for those who are 65 and over. And I think when it comes to disability, again, 65 and those and older. But you're saying most of the cases that you work with are people under 60? C correct. Most of them are under 60. Generally, you have to be under age, for, under your full retirement age, yeah. so right. under 65 or 66. And we can help individuals you know, their, at any age, yeah. as long as they're unable to perform work. Or even younger, 18, under 18, there are different rules. So there's a whole group of people that are unaware they may be entitled to these benefits. Yeah, and that's the thing that I think we've been, of course, you know, educated on, uh, right? And that is, of course, 65, you retire, you get your Social Security. So no one ever thinks that, you know, when they become hurt, that they can start getting into their Social Security. And, and how does that work? Because isn't as we pay as we go? Is that what goes on? Right, so there's a whole subset of Social Security that helps people who can't work even if they're under 65. And so if you're unable to work and you're going to be out of work for a year or longer, you can apply for these benefits and get them well before your full retirement age. Yeah, and there's guidelines that we got to make sure people understand because people think, okay, I'm hurt, but I'm still able to work at this or work at that. Is that possible or do you have to be completely non-able to work? They do have very strict guidelines. Uh, to establish disability, it's a pretty high bar, but there are times you can do some work, part-time work, trial work periods. Social Security wants individuals to test their ability to work, see if they can get back into the workforce. So it's not totally precluded, but these rules are, are very complex and you really have to work with somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah. Um, we know that here in Arizona that we are, how can we say, we're kind of like, not a transit, but what happens, people move and, and work in other states and everything, and then they come back um, and they think, well, I can't get the Social Security here because I worked in another state and everything like that. But that's not true, is it? Yeah. No, it's not. I mean, Social Security is a nationwide program. So if you've worked in you know, Montana, Michigan, California, and you come here, you know, if you're unable to work, you can still apply for and receive those Social Security benefits. Yeah, and I think it's important to come see you two um, about this because we read on the internet and we think we can do it ourselves and we can fix it. But like you said, there's strict guidelines that maybe I don't know about and when I answer those questions, I'm answering them wrong and, and that could kick me out of the system, right? It could kick you out of the system. It can result in a denial. And it's very difficult to correct those errors as you move forward. So it's important to get it right the first time give Social Security all the necessary information, present a well-developed case, otherwise you're gonna find you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, and as we see, as you just said, it's the younger people that we didn't realize, especially as some are getting hurt, some are getting sick. We know with the pandemic um, has caused people not be able to work, so they can look at that and then see what's going on, correct? Right, so it's, it really just comes down to can someone work or can they not work? And so whether they're you know 25 or 55, it really comes down to that test, can they perform you know, full-time work, and if not, are they going to be out of work for uh, a year or more? And yeah. if you are, those benefits are available. So you said something very interesting. Uh, someone who's 18, you know, I guess we're thinking about that. It's like, well, they're still kind of young. They didn't really work that much. I mean, how do they, who fills that out for them, and how those guidelines go? So they have different rules if you're under 18 or above 18, um, and we can help anybody with those type of forms. Uh, just remember, for un, uh, for younger individuals it is a high bar to meet and yeah. it's very unfortunate there's a lot of individuals who just have many many health issues they may never have been able to work and they have no idea that there's a benefit out there that they're able to to get a hold of which will give them a monthly check and will give them access to medical care yeah and, and again we <clears throat> want them to see you because this is something that you cannot maneuver yourself, and, and that's the thing uh, which is so important. I think that's where people kind of like do get kind of like going, well, I can't get my disability. Well, what'd you do? Well, I, I, I went online myself and filled it out. So seeing, of course, your group, you're there for them, and, and you guys know all these guidelines, which are, are so great to uh, do and everything. I appreciate you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So we've been in the Valley for over 40 years. We want to help people. So a lot of people I talk to, they always think they can't afford a lawyer. I'm telling you that's incorrect. Mm -hmm. um, 
If we don't win, there is no legal fee. We're not asking for any money up front. Yeah. We understand the pain that people are in, and we're trying to help alleviate that pain by giving some some financial assistance through the Social Security Administration, yeah. and most importantly, giving access to medical benefits so they can get better and get back to work. That's the whole point of the program, and we really want to help people do that. Yeah, and you guys have, which is, is so amazing, but I think you said it right there, is that you're out to help them so they can have that financial uh, gain to get better and, and not just be sitting there not having anything. And so I'm so glad you guys come and talk about this because, again, we're coming in that time of year where we're starting to see people move around and coming in and who might need it. So uh, we have there, of course, information right there on the screen that you saw, and uh, we have it all on aztv.com. So you guys got to give a call to them if you are in need of, of course, your disability and need to learn about it. This is the group right here to help you. So thank you to you for yeah, coming in. Thank today. you. Appreciate All right, it. stick around. We got more mix right after this.